All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. It has been like two months since I've given you guys a fake card to look at, and there have been plenty of fake cards made over my break, so we're just going to hop right back into it. So today, we are actually looking at a Cosmo card. Yes, people are making fake cards for Cosmos. Like, yeah, you know, like, one of the best decks? Let's go ahead and give them more cards, because why not? It's not like Konami's already doing good enough job making cards for them. So, apparently, this is supposed to be the Cosmo Big Boss Monster, uh, based off the Death Stars. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say it now, so you guys can go ahead and get your crucifixion over with. I have never seen a Star Wars movie. No. None of them. Not one. Nor do I plan on watching the new Star Wars movie. I'm just not into Star Wars. It kind of bores me. I don't know. I don't know. The whole futuristic space aspect. Just, I don't know. I'm not into it, so... Yeah, go ahead and uh, crucify me in the comment section below now. <laughs> so, these whole spaceships, some of them I know, some of them I don't. Some of the references I know, some of them I don't. But yeah, just keep in mind, I've never seen a uh, Star Wars movie at all. And literally, the only reason why I know it, that this card is based off the Death Star is because the creator of the card said that it's based off on the Death Star. So, yeah. So, this is Cosmo Cinnadel. Alright, it looks like, is that level 10? No, 9 or 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Level 9, alright. So, this is the next step past Dark Destroyer, and we already know how good Dark Destroyer is. So, uh, Cosmic Citadel, Light, level 9, Machine, Effect Monster, 4,000 attack. You know, if you thought it was bad enough that you couldn't get over that 3,000 attack, uh, Dark Destroyer, Bank Destroyer, you know, you can't even target it. This one's 4,000. Zero defense, though, so if you can find some way to put it in defense mode, you can easily run over it. So, let's go ahead and look at its effect. So, cannot be normal summoned or set. Alright. Can only be special summoned by the effect of a Cosmo monster and no other ways. Okay, so, pretty much the smaller ones, they're saying, like, hey, you can summon up. So, you pretty much summon one of the smaller ones, whether it be Farm Girl or uh, Straw Man or... You know, Wicked Witch, Good Witch, whatever, and then just summon up. Summon up to this. So, pretty easy way to summon it, of course. Alright. If this card is special summon, destroy all other cards on the field. Wow. I mean, that that that's crazy. That is crazy. So, you just be like, alright, well, all I got is my <laughs> Cosmo Town. I go ahead and summon a farm girl. You got all of that plays, all of that back row. I know you're not going to go ahead and play the back row on me because I'm just going to hop out the way with my farm girl or anybody else. I'm just going to go switch out and bam. Let me go ahead and summon the Cinnadal. Wipe the whole field, including my Cosmo Town. Cosmo Town, go ahead and give me that search. So like, yeah, that's totally what Cosmos need is just a blanket field wiper. Regeki, Heavy Storm, all of it. Your pendulum scale is gone. Like, wow. That, that, mm. <laughs> But let's just go ahead and make sure this is a little bit balanced. You cannot attack the turn that's activated. That's the last thing you need to do is go ahead and just be like, all right, let me wipe the whole field and poke you for frickin' uh, 4,000 attack. Oh, wait, I'm a machine. Then removal, 8,000 game. Like, no, 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 no. You can't attack the turn you have to effect. So is that fair? I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, just the fact that you get to wipe the entire field. You know, it's not just monsters. It's not just back row. It's everything. Back row, monsters, pendulum scales, your own Cosmo Town, everything. Like, oh my god. So, not the biggest fan about that. Alright, but this card ain't done. This card ain't done. You could banish one Cosmo Monster from your deck to special summon, uh, one banished Cosmo Monster in defense position. So, try to make it a little bit more balanced. They're like, hey, you know, you can go ahead and summon in defense position so you can't attack with it. But, yeah, you just go ahead and banish your Cosmo Monster from your deck. So, you get to go ahead and banish that Cosmo Monster from your deck. Get you set up for your Cosmo Town. So, you can go ahead and be like, oh, yeah, Cosmo Town. Go, go ahead and get me that uh, banished Cosmo Monster from my uh, banished back to my hand. And then summon that banished one from your banished zone to the field. Like, this is just straight up tutoring. And I believe that this card was actually made before uh, Straw Man. I think so. Uh, let me see the date. Yeah, it was made before uh, the reveal of Straw Man. So, uh, yeah. You go ahead and just, <laughs> like, that. Let me go ahead and uh, banish this Farm Girl. And go ahead and summon this Dark Destroyer in defense position. Doesn't say that it's effects when they get it, so pop a monster. You know. And if it dies, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go down the list of floatiness that Cosmos, of course, do. And then 
go ahead, Cosmo Town, Cosmo Town, give me back that farm girl. Like, it's just, wow. But, of course, this card wouldn't be anything if it didn't have a floaty effect. So, if this card is destroyed, banish it. Special summon one level 6 or lower Cosmo Monster from your deck. You can only activate each effect of Cosmo Citadel once per turn. So, this one summons 6 or lower, which is actually... Not that bad, because at least you're not going, all right, well, this is dead. Oh, summon Dr. Shroy. Oh, Dr. Shroy is dead. Summon Foreman. So, at least that's okay. It's a six or lower. Uh, I don't think really anybody runs dog, so no one really is going to summon that six, but five, definitely. Go ahead and uh, summon that slip and pop a back row. So, yep, and then summon four, which would be Wicked Witch, Good Witch, or summon that Farm Girl, summon that Straw Man. So, it's all good. It's all good. So, you can literally just go... Alright, well, you killed my Cynodile. Well, I'm going to go ahead and summon, what, six or lower? I'm going to go ahead and summon Straw Man. Uh, and then Straw Man's going to go ahead and summon back this guy. Yeah, it's a 4,000 beater. Like, so, yeah, it's this card, it, it, it is something. It is definitely something. And if it came out, it's just like, yeah, they would play that. They would definitely, definitely play that. Because like I said, there's no shame in their game when it comes to big monsters. When you have a nice balance of the big monsters with the little monsters, the deck runs fine. You know? Uh, deck, that the only thing that sucks is the whole Cosmo deck with the reasoning. You're not going to get this with reasoning. It can only be special summoned by a Cosmo monster's effect in no other way. So, yeah, you're not going to get this with reasoning. I believe that you would just go right over it. Because it, it would just go straight to the graveyard. Uh, and, you know, it wouldn't be blocked by the summon. So, that's okay. Another thing is, is that unlike uh, Dark Destroyer and Forerunner, this card can be targeted. So, uh... It's a little bit different than the other big ones, but uh, it's still just worth the play because just dropping and destroying all other cards on the field is just redonkulous. The whole banish from your deck, get back when banished card monster is also ridiculous. Uh, summoning a level 6 or lower with a float effect is fine as well. So overall, I just think this card is very, very good. And, you know, like I said, this is before the release of, you know, Dark Destroyer and uh, Wicked Witch and... Uh, straw man, so you know they were definitely planning on just uh, kicking that butt. So let's go ahead and view uh, what other people think. So uh, someone named Bunkaboo with <laughs> raccoon as the pitcher said, seems a little on the weak side. I mean, okay, not being able to attack at all the turn this effect is used means you must farm girl uh, slash whatever directly into this. Uh, which is fine. Which is fine. I mean, you're destroying the entire field. I mean, yeah, I think you're getting a little bit greedy, Bunkaboo. Like, really? You want to go ahead and drop this, wipe the entire field, and attack with a 4,000 beater that can easily just OTK with limited removal? Like, no, no, no. Uh, on top of that, if your opponent chains something like Toronto, you won't be able to special summon. What do you mean you won't be able to special summon? I mean... You would still resolve your effect. You you were still special summon. It's this card is special summon. So, you know, if you go farm girl and they go, you know, train torrental tribute, you can go ahead and chain your farm girl, summon this. You're gonna get torrentled, but you're still, you know, you still resolve your effect because it's as if this card was special summon. So, yeah, you're good. Like I don't I don't understand. I guess they were like, I have no idea where he's going with this. And then you would of course get your effect. And uh, summon your level 6 or lower Cosmo Monster, so. Okay, the only good thing to me is the Banish the Special Summon 1. Since it has no real restrictions, you can basically pull any Cosmo from the deck. Uh, I'm sure that could make for some nutty combos, but it's too late to... But it's too late to that about those... What? I don't know. That was weird typing here. He had an aneurysm right in the middle of his typing. So... I don't know. I don't see your argument here. I think that the, I think that the card is really good, and if it, it was a real card, they would definitely play it, and it would definitely be the Cosmo Boss Monster Death Star. Like, holy crap. So, I don't know. Another person named Neep said, It's a quick play nuke that leads to a 4,000 wall that you can just drop on your opponent's turn and then proceed to swing next turn. Yeah, no. And, yeah, that is definitely a good point, Neep. That's a, that's a good thing. Of course, the smaller Cosmo Monsters, they can do their effect during either player's turn. So, I can literally just have, like, a Wicked Witch on my field. You know, pay the 1,000 life points. You can't destroy by battle by card effect. So, you're like, alright, well, I guess I'll just end my turn. Let me set some back row sets of monsters I am. I'll be like, ha! During your end phase, let me go ahead and whoop! Summon this. Blah! The field, 
draw. I could attack that turn, but I can attack my turn. 4,000. Let's go. So, yeah. I see where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. I didn't re I didn't realize until you brought it up. But, yeah, that, 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 that's definitely busted. You tried to balance it on your turn, but just the fact that the smaller ones could be used during either player's turn to go ahead and summon this to go off during your opponent's turn, now that's some busted shit. <laughs> you know, that is just like, yeah, like, oh, uh, yeah, I have, like, a, a farm guru, scarecrow, whatever, my... I, Phil, going against Magic Specters, they were like, alright, well, I'm gonna activate my Pendulum Scale, activate my Pendulum Scale, or I'm gonna go ahead on the activation of your second Pendulum Scale, uh, use my effect, banish, summon, wipe, like, yeah, and now you gotta deal with this 4,000 beater, like, wow, I mean, like I said, at least it can be targeted, but still, just being able to, you know, wipe the entire field during your opponent's turn, it's just like, what, like, what, like, for goodness sakes, when uh, volcanics were popular and you could go ahead and uh, scatter shot your and regeki during your opponent's turn, that was like what <laughs> with reload. But this, this is the entire field. This back row, this is monsters, pendulum skill, everything during your opponent's turn, all because of small ones. And like I said, the whole restriction where you can't attack this turn, that's fine because I'm gonna attack during my turn because I'm using this effect during the end phase of your turn. So. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah. I think this card is ridiculous. Just, mm. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, we'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. We got plenty of cards. Like I said, there are a ton of cards, fake cards that were made during my break that I want to go ahead and discuss. So anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. All right, people. Thanks for watching.